Great, good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our webinar uh, forum session called Create Your Own Marketing Videos from Tech to Technique. So um, again, online, let us know where you're joining us from, what your company is. So Lorena has an idea of, of who the audience is today and make sure to have those chat and Q&A boxes ready and type in your questions as you have them. We'll be reviewing them as we go along, but some of them you know, might get uh, answered automatically by the content going to be shared today. And just another note that we're going to record the forum and make it available to your public, to the public on our website. And our previous forums and webinars are also available there. So we'll send out the link to this um, recording in the follow-up email, which will probably go out for you uh, sometime tomorrow once the recording is available. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. My name is Carrie Lee Oje. I am the Skills Development Manager here at Women's Enterprise Centre, and I work out of our Kelowna office. And I have the pleasure of overseeing all of our training programs, which includes forums such like this, live workshops, some online resources. Um, and if there's a topic that you would like us to consider for a future forum, please be sure to complete our follow-up survey that will go out tomorrow as well and share some ideas. Or if you have any recommended panelists for us, let us know about them. And just briefly, Women's Enterprise Centre, we're a nonprofit organization devoted to helping BC women start, lead, and grow your own business. Our full range of services includes business loans of up to $150,000 with access to an additional $100,000 through new partnership with BDC. We also do joint loans with Community Futures and Futurepreneur. We provide business advice, skills training, mentoring, resources, and a supportive community to help women entrepreneurs realize their business potential. And we do this from our offices located in Kelowna, Vancouver, and Victoria. And our passion is to empower women entrepreneurs to your business success. And we're funded by the federal government through Western Economic Diversification. And we're part of a women's enterprise initiative, which includes similar organizations in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. To keep updated on everything that our organization, these other organizations are doing, you can learn more at WEC.ca. So now on to today's session. Um, our topic is using video in your marketing and to answer your questions and provide us some um, amazing tips and tricks today. I'm excited to have Lorena Klingel, who is the CEO, owner and founder of Learn, Learn to Flourish. Lorena helps her clients share their important messages rapidly and effectively through online courses and video. And she provides coaching and strategy and project services. And Lorena and I met actually when she applied and has participated in one of our peer mentoring groups uh, here in Kelowna. So welcome, Lorena. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Good morning, yeah. everyone, and good morning, Carolee. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be able to share some of our knowledge with the community of the Women's Enterprise Centre because, as Carolee mentioned, I am part of this community, so it's exciting to have a chance to share some knowledge with the entire community. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that... Great. Perfect. Does that sound good, Carolee? Yep. Okay. Take it away. We'll just be a second while we make that transition. Okay, so... Looks good. You can see me. Well, you can see my, my screen at least. All right, great. And I will, I'll turn on my video for a second at least so I can say hi everyone. Good morning <laughs> from Vernon. I'm located in Vernon, British Columbia. So good morning. It I, looks like everybody here is on the west side of the country as well. So. We're all in the morning right now. So welcome everyone this morning to create your own marketing videos from Tech to Technique. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I am delighted and you'll see very soon how, um, how passionate I am about my, two of my passions, e-learning and video creation. So again, I'm Lorena Klingel. I'm the founder of Learn to Flourish, and we help organizations share their messages with video and with online learning. So through our workshops, we people learn how to create their own video and their own online training. And through our professional services, we offer that higher level of support for our clients who want to outsource their online course, e-learning or video development. We have just under an hour together today, so we're going to zoom in on four key areas. Why video? 
video ideas, tech that will get you making great videos today, I promise, and tackling video scripting. Now, after our time together today, some of you are going to want more. After all, 60 minutes is not a lot of time. So I promise that before I go, I will let you know exactly how and where you can get more. Before we fully dive into the content today, we're gonna to do a little experiment. I just want you to watch my screen and think for a moment about what I'm showing you. The ideas that pop into your head, the emotions that you experience and your thoughts. So here's the first one. Here's the next. And here's one more. message three different ways. Which one did you feel was most impactful and what made it more impactful? Please share with us and pop your ideas into the chat. Which one was the most impactful and why did you feel it, what made it more impactful? Yes, yes, I'm seeing the, okay, number three, we have a resounding yes so far for number three, the video, make the images of people, making it more personal, the movement of the images, video of the inspirational scenes of people together, the background, of mu the background music, all of these elements hit multiple senses in us and it evokes emotion. So let's get a sense of where you are today with video creation. In the chat, tell, just briefly mention, are you using video today either for your social media marketing on your website or your email marketing, or perhaps even with some kind of employee training? Okay, so we have some no's, we have some yeses, not yet, not yet. Social media, okay, not yet. For those of you who are doing it, is it for social media mainly? Or are you using it for other reasons as well? Okay, yes, for social. LinkedIn, great, yes. Okay, social media, fantastic. Now, for those of you who have started doing some video, what styles of video are you currently making and using in your business? Are you, is it do-it-yourself talking head style video? So this is where you would use any kind of camera and film a person speaking to the camera. It could be for uploading to social or on your website or even done as live video, for example, Facebook Lives. So that's talking head style video. Is anyone doing animated video? Is anyone creating videos using stock photos and video clips? Okay, so talking head, professionally filmed. Yeah, that's another, that's another option. Okay, someone's doing animated, that's fantastic. Okay, so selfie, animated, do it yourself, stock photos, personal images, fantastic, okay. So we have a variety of experience here. Now, what have you noticed about the level of engagement when you do use video? Has anyone noticed a difference? Yes, you're seeing a difference. Have you noticed that increase in engagement? Okay, yes. Yes, even getting direct messages. That's fantastic, amazing. You are absolutely right. Most people see a significant increase in engagement when they start using video. So here are some interesting statistics. According to the research from 2018, social video generates 12 times more shares than text and images combined. 
Marketers who use video grow revenue 49% faster than non-video users. And according to a 2018 survey, 54% of all consumers want to see more video content from a brand or an organization that they support. More than 500 million Facebook users are watching videos on Facebook every day, and Snapchat users watch 10 billion videos per day. Using the word video in an email subject line boosts open rates by 19% and click-through rates by 65%. So any of you who are doing any direct reach out through email, this is really a really important tip. I could go on and on, but I know that I don't need to convince you ladies, you wouldn't be here if you didn't believe in the power of video. And the statistics are endless. So for those of you who said no, that you haven't started creating much video yet, or for those of you who have started, but maybe it took you a while to get started, please share me, with me what, what was stopping you or what is still stopping you. Share it in the chat, please. Okay, expense, lack of knowledge, finding the people, okay, confidence, intimidated don't like to see, ah yes absolutely angie i understand don't like to see myself on camera i hear that a lot absolutely and can personally relate okay yeah oh my goodness you guys yes i too expensive it takes too much time don't have the technical knowledge i get this all the time and i completely understand so today we're going to address all of these concerns and barriers barriers so that you can start creating videos and you can do it regularly creating videos doesn't have to take over your life you don't have to become a professional videographer or a professional video editor to create great videos it's about incorporating video into your strategy in a way that allows you to rapidly create videos so that it doesn't take forever. Now, so I heard some apprehension about getting in front of the camera. Who here has created videos of themselves talking and shared it publicly on the internet? Like not just with your friends and your mom, but actually posted it so that anyone can see it. <laughs> Yeah, definitely some of you have. And so the, the very first time, <laughs> so many of you are like, no way. The very first time you did this, what was going through your head before you clicked that, that button so that it was out there? Anyone felt a little bit nervous? <laughs> yeah, someone felt, uh, ugh, okay. Very few people feel comfortable with themselves on camera. This is an absolute fact. Otherwise, we'd all be movie stars, right? We'd be in California right now making movies. But as video creators, talking head style video is not your only option. And I really want to encourage you to explore the other styles of video as well. A lot of people are scared to get started with video creation because they have an image in their heads of the old way of creating videos. But in the past few years, things have changed dramatically. I've been in the communication and industry for over 20 years, and I've seen the days when video creation meant a studio with special lighting, really expensive video cameras and microphones, teleprompters and soundproofing and videography was only done by people who had studied the craft intently for years it took an entire professional team and it was expensive but the good news is the landscape has changed the power of video creation is now in the hands of regular people the technology is easier than ever, and consumers and learners are showing that they're more engaged with less polished videos, Cash, often casual video that's been created by a regular person. We're seeing this trend in marketing, training, and in communication. Today, you can make great videos using stock photography and video clips, 
for live video and real lifestyle video, the cameras on our phones and webcams are better than ever. We can even create amazing animated video. Today, you're gonna to learn some key things that you can do to make your videos easier to create and more effective. Believe me, video is something that you can incorporate into your existing marketing and communication strategy. We've helped everyone from solopreneurs to large multinational corporations to get started with video. And today, I'm gonna to help you do the same. Everyone is attending today because they want to create videos for their organization for some reason or another. This is great, I'm so glad. Thank you for all showing up. Something that I hear from our Learn to Flourish Academy students all the time is, I know that I should be making videos, but I don't know what to make them about. Idea generation for your videos can seem like a challenge, especially if you want to share videos on a regular basis. So here are some ideas to get you started. Quick tip videos for your customers or your ideal clients, your ideal customers that you're trying to reach. For example, you could send out a tip of the week. This is something that I do for Learn to Flourish on our social media. Every week we do a really short Tip Tuesday video. Smart marketers are using online education as a way to build know, like, and trust factor of their brand. Another video idea is to tell people who you are and what you can do for them. This style of video is sometimes called an explainer video. It demonstrates how you, how you help people and your expertise. Basically, it's your value proposition. So do you have a hard time explaining to people what you do? Do you get that like funny, confused look from people when you, when you tell them what you do? And my ultimate is, can your mother explain to someone else what you do? If this is an issue for you, then you need an explainer video. And at Learn to Flourish, we create a lot of explainer videos. And there's a special script writing technique that I teach this in our video fundamentals program. Let's have a look at this example of a video that tells people who you are, what you do, basically an explainer video. Do you want to publish more, but feel like you're being pulled in a thousand directions? Feel guilty that you aren't writing more and scared that if things keep going at this rate, you won't get tenured? Writing keeps falling to the bottom of the list. What if you felt confident because you had a system for writing and knew exactly what to work on next? It is possible to feel focused, centered, and driven to write. My name is Kathy Mazek, and I know exactly how you feel because I was there too. I got my dream job, woo! And then it was so overwhelmed that I felt like I could never come up for air. And then another surprise gave me a kick in the pants. I got pregnant with baby number one. Now there was no time for messing around. But through trial and lots of error, I shaped my career and pushed it in the direction that I wanted it to go. How? I put writing at the center. I developed an exclusive six-step process to help you do it too. Through coaching and courses, I've helped hundreds of academic women write and publish more. Don't risk tenure and promotion by letting writing fall to the bottom of your list. Fill out the application, then we'll create a clear 90-day plan to meet your writing and publication goals. Apply to work with me now. Alleviate decision fatigue of not knowing what to do next. Get rid of guilt and overwhelm. Let your unique message start to make a difference in your field and in people's lives. Get your publication pipeline flowing. Fill out the application and let's get started. So another video idea is video to spread awareness. Maybe you just want to alert people to something important. It could be a problem in your community or something in the workplace that needs to change. It could be something that your potential client needs to hear in order to make them understand why they might need you. Maybe it's one thing that if people had the information and they were aware of it, that it could really change lives. 
Another style of video that organizations are making are educational videos. This could be for your team training, employees, volunteers, management, or board of directors. But online education isn't just for workplace training anymore. As I mentioned, companies are now using online education as a marketing strategy to build the know, like, and trust factor of their brand. Creating great education that helps your customers or potential customers draws people to your brand, especially if you've done a good job and the video or e-learning is shareable. Content that gets shared helps you build your client base organically and rapidly. This is something that we do, this style of video, training videos, is something that we do at Learn to Flourish almost every week. Um, I have this one muted, but I want to, I'm just going to jump forward in it because there's some parts in it that I really love and I'm going to unmute and show you guys. So you can see, um, this is Mitchell, he's on my team, he's our digital storytelling ninja, and he's giving, he's doing an educational video on how to use a gimbal with your smartphone. I'm gonna jump ahead to the part of the video where he shows us what the video footage looks like with the gimbal. Thoughts I took using my smartphone on this, operate this gimbal better. The camera to the direction you want to turn. When so, left instead of menu icon that you just double click automatically brings a button that you can use to end your video red there on the gimbal in the app with this gimbal on your video. The best to hold the gimbal might direction you don't want it be, to be so you want to keep it centered so when you're turning it's important to hold the pad in the direction that you're turning I also tested the gimbal's ability to record shots while running to see how well it performed as you can see here you also have a feature that tracks motion of a selected object it works really well unless you're running around in the frame okay so I just wanted to show you that part where he was running with the gimbal because you are if you're someone who's using your smartphone for your filming this is just such a fun and useful tool to have so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of idea of how that footage looks okay so another video idea is to tell the story of your impact so these are any videos that show who you serve, how you help them, and what impact you have on your customers' lives or the environment or community. They could be transformation stories, testimonials, anything that tells a story of a journey that your business or organization has positively impacted. So again, testimonials and transformation stories are incredibly powerful. So if you work with clients and customers, there are stories to tell of the work that they have done with you and how that's positively impacted them. Another idea, are you trying to accomplish something? Are you trying to make a difference? Tell people about it in a video. Tell people what you're trying to accomplish and why. Believe me, people want to know. This information might be just what it takes to compel them to take action. Create videos that help celebrate wins and build community. Let's have a look at this example. A growing and diverse economy, a talent pool of forward-thinking young explorers, entrepreneurs, and families, businesses and people who have found their home and their future in a spectacular setting in the community of Salmon Arm. Salmon Arm offers a balanced lifestyle of community and exciting outdoor recreation. Salmon Arm is a small city with big ideas whose combination of beauty and forward thinking attracts young explorers, entrepreneurs, and families of all ages. They're seeking a welcoming place that's open to innovative ways to build a life where they can do more, live more, and make more of a difference. Let's let everyone know that Salmon Arm is a small city with big ideas. So 
So that's another idea. Now, if you own a business or do marketing for a business that uses personal branding, then you want to have a video that paints the leader of your company in a positive light. This could be you if you're the CEO of your business. You can use this style of video to tell people who you are and what you do. If you are doing speaking for your business, either professional or paid speaking, or even speaking as part of your visibility strategy, then what you need is a speaker reel. Let's have a look at this example of a speaker reel that we created for professional keynote speaker, Dr. Carmen Landreau. Just a side note about this project. When Carmen approached us about doing a speaker reel for her, she, she does not live anywhere near here. So we had to work with what she had. And she said, Lorena, I'm not sure what you can do. I don't have any professional videography of my speaking, just some footage captured on a cell phone. So let's have a look at how we managed to create a speaker reel for her with her cell phone footage. You can do it all, but you cannot do it alone. This is how you build a strong foundation of belief. You take the talent, you overcome the fear, you take action, and you let them know that you're there for them and you're gonna take it. You need to know that you already have what it takes. We think we have to speak a certain way, talk a certain way, wear our hair a certain way, in order to fit a pattern, in order to be accepted, in order to be seen as the right person. I'm inviting you here to get out of your heads, shut down that voice, get out of that mental state, and do it. You're there to do your job, make it happen. She didn't say, I'm here, look at me, I'm qualified, I'll take it. So instead of me concentrating on my negative features or those that I think are negative, let's just concentrate on something that I know will help me move forward today. Just today. Tomorrow I'll find something else. Once you start opening that door, you become more comfortable. Get out of your own head. Start talking about money. Manage your time. Let's bridge that gap. And of course, last but not least, you should be creating videos that promote your events, your products, and your services. Whether you're a small business, a large corporation, or a nonprofit, you should be sharing promotional videos so that people know about your events, products, and services. By incorporating all of these different ideas that I've just shared with you into your video strategy, it allows you to have a balanced approach to video that shows your audience how you're there to help them and make their lives better. So here are those ideas again. Did this spark any new ideas for you? I want you to take a second right now to jot down some ideas and pop into the chat. What are you gonna make some videos about? Promoting upcoming events, great. <gasps> Recruiting stories, those are so helpful. Personal branding, yes. If, you, if your business has you as the figurehead of the company, then personal branding videos are fantastic, especially to have on your website and to share on your social media.
Yes, promoting that you have a new website. Absolutely, get people excited about it and draw them to it. Explainer video, great. Yes, celebrate and promote the communities that you serve. People not want to hear about what you're doing out in the community. Testimonials, absolutely. Yes, show your impact. I love it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you guys got some ideas. Make sure you write down your ideas so you don't lose them. Now, I know that you're excited to start creating videos, so you're going to see how to do it right now. Hopefully, I'm going to show you something new that to get you started creating videos today. So I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite free video creation tools, Lumen5. Lumen5 is an interesting video creation tool that uses the power of artificial intelligence to help you create great videos quickly. Using Lumen5, you can create videos that include photography, video clips, text on screen, and background music. You can import your own assets or choose from thousands of free assets in the Lumen5 library. Now, when I say assets, I'm talking about photographs, video, and music. What Lumen5 does not include is the ability to add narration to your video using Lumen5. If you want to use narration, then there are other tools that I would recommend. It's also not meant to be a video editing tool. In other words, if you shoot live footage and you want to use certain clips, then you would need to use a different tool to edit, trim, and cut your clips. But Lumen5 is a great tool to get your toes wet with video creation and then help you feel confident with creating some videos quickly. Here are a couple of examples of videos that were created with Lumen5. <laughs> was created using only free assets from the Lumen5 library. I'm going to show you another very short one that was also created using Lumen5. Now, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to use Lumen5. So, I'm going to try to switch my presentation screen here to uh, my internet screen. Okay, can everyone now see um, my web browser with Lumen5 open? Yes, Lorena, that's on the screen. Wonderful, perfect. Okay, so when you first sign up for your free Lumen5 account, you probably won't have anything in your dashboard yet. Now, Lumen5 used to be like 100% free while they were developing the system. Now that they've got it pretty much sorted out and it's an amazing product, they give you five free videos per month. So you can, you can down, create and download five free videos per month, which is still pretty amazing. Wait till you see what's included in those that you can use in those videos. 
So I have some stuff on my dashboard here. When you first start, there won't be anything there. To get started, you would click Create Video. And the first thing that it asks is, well, what size, what video format do you want? Because depending on what social media you're sharing it on, or if you're putting it out on YouTube, there's different sizing that you can use. So it has all these fantastic presets and they make it so easy for you. You don't need to know the ratio. All you need to know is, well, where am I posting this? So we've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you know, all the regular ones. And then you can use custom sizing as well. I'm gonna go for just the standard landscape ratio. Then it says, well, what text? You notice, I'm sure you noticed in those examples that the video is text-based. So what text do you want to use in your video? If you write blog articles for your business, you could actually paste a URL for one of your blog articles into this field on the left-hand side. Now, personally, I like to have a little bit more control over what words are gonna appear on the screen and do less editing. So I normally start with the right-hand side where you can type in your text or you can copy and paste it from somewhere else. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. Notice I put hard returns in a few different places. When you use a hard return, Lumen thinks that you want to create a new scene in your video. So that's just a little tip. If you already know where logical breaks should be in the video, you can put in some hard returns here. Then at, after you've entered your text, click the go button. And then it says, well, what do you want the text to look like? Can you choose one of the themes? Now, they give you quite a few options to choose from. If you did, if it was really important to you to use your branding fonts, then you would need to upgrade to the paid version. But there's lots to choose from. So you can even try to find one that is closest to your branding as possible. I think I'll go for this one today. And then it brings me into the video creation screen. So as I mentioned, Lumen5 uses artificial intelligence. So it actually looks at the keywords that you've entered and it goes into its database and it tries to find video clips or images that match the words that you have entered as text. So sometimes it works amazing. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I gotta make some tweaks here. So let, I'm just gonna preview and see what Lumen5 picked for me. Okay, I kinda like the Santa, but the other ones I'm not thrilled with. But that's okay, it's super, super easy to switch out your media. Over on the left-hand side here, you can see there's a button or a tab called Media. And from here, you can enter a search term, or if you want to, you could actually upload your own footage, your own content using the upload button or search. Um, so when I, sometimes when I'm doing keyword searches for assets, I think of the feeling, like a thought, a feeling that I'm trying to evoke, or sometimes I'll search directly for that specific keyword. But, um, I, when I think of the word today, I think of moment. So I'm gonna search for the word moment. And then all of these videos or, and images come up for me to choose from. Now, if you hover over, you get to see a little preview of what the video looks like. And if it says free in the corner, go for it. It's yours to use, it's free to use. If it says marketplace and it has that little crown, that's a video clip or an image that you can purchase. But there are so many options in there free. It's incredible, which if you guys have ever um, purchased any kind of B-roll or professional photography, you know, it's incredibly expensive. So this is so cool that you can get it for free here. When you see something you like, mouse over it, hold down your left mouse button and drag and drop it into the scene that you want to use, replace it in. So my next one is a great day. So that makes me think of the word fun. So I'm gonna search for something fun. And oh, this is pretty cute where the kids are playing in the snow. So I'm gonna pick that. 
And then let's see, I do like the Santa, but let's see what else we can come up with. The word awesome. Oh, and this is definitely, these are some of my favorites. I love the video of these people partying. So I'm going to drag and drop to replace it. And there we go. I've replaced the, the videos in each scene. Now you might also want to make some changes to your text. What you do is you click on the text box on the screen and you can change the words in here. You can also highlight certain words and change the color. Highlight them if you want them to pop out. If you want it to appear, the text to appear somewhere else on the screen, you can use this grid capability to move the text around. You can change the size using this scrolly bar to make it smaller or larger. Another thing that you, you're going to want to do is tweak the timing of each scene. So Lumen 5 defaults to three seconds per scene. Um, I'm going to bump it up on some of these. Make that six seconds. Make this one longer as well because I really like these people dancing around. I'm going to highlight the word awesome here. And now I'm also going to show you this more options dot, 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 more options. So the, when you click more options, it gives you some different layouts if you want the video to be full screen or over on one side. But the other cool thing is that if you click trim, it allows you to scrub through the video and show it at a certain stage of the video. And you can also change the timing in here if you want. And then click apply. So those are some of the main changes. There's, there's more functionality. If you click, click this green button, you can add new scenes and new sub scenes to it. But those are the basics. Now there's one more thing that we absolutely have to do to make our video awesome. Oh yes, on the free version, you can upload your own content. I saw a question there. So one more thing we, we really wanna do with our video is to add music. So here you click the music button or the music tab and there are thousands of tracks to choose from. I like to use this mood drop down and say like what feeling, what emotion do I want to evoke in this video? So, you know, is it angry or dramatic? Well, in this case, it's probably bright. So I'm going to choose that. And then to listen to the music, you click the little play button. And I usually know the first two seconds if it's something that I'm going to like to use. Now, disclaimer, word of warning. Either clear your schedule or set a timer on your phone and give yourself a limited time because once you go down the rabbit hole of listening to the soundtracks, you're going to want to listen to them all day. I'm just going to choose one here. And so you click select next to the one that you want and it gets added. So let's see how this video looks now. Okay, what do you think? Not bad for, you know, like the five minutes that we've been working on this. So I, you know, I probably would do a few more things, but that's just the basics. When, so one thing that you question you guys might have is about the logo at the end. So I've already uploaded my logo. All you do is click change logo. You put your own one in and then it uses it after that. Every time you create a video, you can also change this call to action. I have it saying share this video, but you can make it whatever you want. And then when you're ready, you click publish and you can either download your video, get a shareable link or load, upload it directly to Facebook. Personally, I always download my videos um, because I like to upload them natively to each of the social media platforms that we use, but that's all there is to it. That's it. So I know we don't have time for you to try that live today, but what do you guys think? Do you think you could do it? Everyone, is everyone feeling confident that, that this is something that is possible for you? Good, good. Yes, I am so glad. 
<laughs> Lorena, we have a question from one person asking kind of an average file size because she has a restriction on a platform she wants to use video on. Yeah, that's you know, a like a two or, you know, kind of how many, you know, gigabytes or something per second or something like that. Is there an average or do you know? There isn't an average. Every video is a little bit different. But um, if you want to, I would need to actually dig onto my files to show you the specific ones. So if that person, whoever it was, if you, I have my contact information at the end of the presentation. If you want to ping me, um, I can share some of that information with you. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, as you've seen, the technical aspect of creating videos with Lumen5 wasn't too bad. With today's technology, it's easier than ever to create great videos, but it takes more than technology to motivate your viewers to take action or to change behavior. So, if you've ever written video script before, you might have struggled with what words to use in the video, the flow of your video or story. This can actually be one of the most challenging parts of creating video. But there are several different script writing techniques that you can use to make this easier. In our Video Fundamentals program, I cover several script writing techniques and methods to motivate your audience. I even provide plug and play script templates to make it really fast and easy. And today I'm gonna to share with you one of these techniques. It's our own script writing formula that you can use in your videos, your marketing copy, and even your online learning content. Our framework is called the Learn to Flourish Heart Head Hands Framework. Start with the heart, provide an emotional hook. Videos that evoke strong emotions are memorable. It's scientifically proven that when people first connect with the emotion, emotional side of their brains, they're more likely to learn, retain information, and take action. What types of emotions? It could be hope, joy, fear, even frustration. Stories of real people and events. Transformation stories are incredibly powerful. Other ways to provide an emotional hook are by painting a picture of a desired state for your audience. What is the transformation or end state that they might expect? Finally, a simple way to op open up people emotionally is to use an inspirational quote. These are everywhere. Just check out the back wall of my office. Do a Google search or pop onto Instagram and create a collection of your favorite quotes that are relevant to your service or product. The next step in the formula is to move on to the head. This is where you present your factual must-do information. For example, facts, checklists, frameworks, processes, models, and statistics. Finally, wrap things up with a call to action. What do you want the viewer to do after they watch your video? If it's a marketing video, it could be to like or share the video, to click the buy button, or to sign up for your newsletter. If this is a training video or a training program, then the hands part of the formula could be a practice activity. You always want to wrap things up by giving your audience a signal to take action. So that's the entire formula, heart, head, hands. Provide an emotional hook, present the facts and data, and give a call to action, and do it in that specific order. Remember this framework, it's gonna make your script writing so much easier. Here's an example of a video actually created with Lumen5 that follows the heart, head, hands approach. Let's have a look.
So story is a very powerful tool. Did anyone notice how this video followed heart had hands? Heart is the story of Thomas Edison. At this point, pe most people can see themselves in the story. If you're a parent, then as you watch this video, you are thinking about a time that you disappointed your child, or you might be remembering something from your own childhood, and you're really hooked. Head the facts. Children need your love, encouragement, and understanding. Finally, hands, the call to action. Join us for National Child Day celebrations and share this video. Heart, head, hands. Now, this was a very quick introduction to our script writing technique, but today I have a free gift for all of you. We've created an e-learning module that goes in deep with this script writing technique and gives you more real examples and how to tackle your script writing. You can get access to this training today completely for free, and the Women's Enterprise Center is going to send it to you in the follow-up email after today's webinar. So now my challenge to you, you've seen how easy it can be. You have a formula to make your script writing easier. I want to see you all creating videos. So here's my challenge. Post at least one video per week for the next four weeks and tag me and use the hashtag flourish video challenge so that we can cheer you on and share your content. Who's in for the challenge? Give me a show of hands. Who's ready to create some videos? Uh, yay! Good. Now, if for those of you who aren't saying yes, why not? You've seen the statistics. We live in a world where video is king. A lot of people like to talk about millennials, but the truth is that the millennial discussion is over. Gen Z includes everyone from your little kids to the 23 year olds who are part of your emerging workforce. They're your consumers and your influencers. Gen Z is the first generation that were born into touch screens, voice command and artificial intelligence. Video is a normal and expected form of communication for this digital generation and they have a massive influence over what's happening in both the business and the nonprofit worlds. But I know that you're all super busy. So here are a few ideas to make your video creation easier. Batch your creation efforts. Block off some time in your calendar to do all four videos at once. So you're in video creation mode. Identify a team member to do it. Who on your team could be your designated video creator? Delegate the task to someone else. Get your customers to create videos for you. They're your best spokespeople. Outsource it. There are companies out there who do it, who can do it for you. That's one of the services that Learn to Flourish offers. Finally, you could take a course to take your skills to the next level. For example, we offer a robust and in-depth video creation program called Video Fundamentals. And this program could be for you if you wanna take your skills to the next level or have someone on your team take their skills to the next level. As I promised earlier, for those of you who want to learn more, I'm offering a special promotion on our video fundamentals program. This course isn't about becoming a professional videographer or a professional video editor, although when you start creating videos in this class, people will ask you which professional created them for you. Video fundamentals is about communicating with your audience in an authentic and genuine way through video and about the tools and techniques that allow you to rapidly create videos. By the end of this course, you'll be able to edit raw video footage, craft engaging and polished video content to share. You'll learn how to create animated videos. So all those fun animations that I showed you earlier. You get access to free tools, resources, and assets to make your videos amazing. And remember, it's not about becoming a full-time video creator. In this course, we share with you our proven script writing techniques and you get plug and play templates so that you can quickly craft video scripts without kind of like bumbling around it. So Video Fundamentals is a live virtual program, which includes two bonus office hour sessions every week. That means you get direct live access to me up to three times a week during the program. Normally this course is $11.97, but for everybody who signed up for the webinar, you can actually purchase it for $8.97. So that's $300 savings. To take advantage of the deal, 
you can, uh, the Women's Enterprise Center is going to send out a link in the follow-up email and you can use the promo code Video Fundamentals 300. Each and every one of our program participants has seen results. After taking Learn to Flourish Academy programs, people feel confident creating and posting videos and e-learning and have seen significant increases in engagement. And I am so proud of everyone who's gone through one of our programs. Here's an example that amazes me. After her first day of video fundamentals, my student Denise posted a video to her organization social media that she had created using the skills in class. And the last time I checked, it had almost 6,000 views, 101 reactions, 68 comments, and 119 shares. Another student of ours, Tiffany Batura, shared this video that she created and um, she shared it in our private Learn to Flourish Academy Facebook group after she created it. Tiffany's in charge of both marketing and customer education at her company. At the beginning of Video Fundamentals, she said to me, Lorena, I'm feeling overwhelmed and I don't know where to begin with our marketing and education because the product that we offer is incredibly complicated and only scientists and engineers really get it. And I'm not a scientist or an engineer. Well, we go deep on educational video and video fundamentals and Tiffany rose to the challenge. When she went through video fundamentals, she discovered the power of using animated video to explain these complex subjects in a way that is really fun and engaging. And this is what I want for you. Grow your business and your audience, raise awareness and visibility and have fun doing it because creating videos is supposed to be fun and it is fun. So here are your next steps. Participate in the video challenge. Post some videos. Use hashtag flourish video challenge so that we can cheer you on. And remember to register for video fundamentals as soon as possible to get $300 off. If you have any inclination to do this, then now is the time to get this amazing deal. This program begins in just three weeks and it's almost full. Also connect with me. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, and if you want the real nitty gritty on Instagram. And feel free to reach out to me at any time at Lorena at learntoflourish.com. So thank you so much for joining me today. Before we go, does anyone have any more questions? Hi, Lorena. Thank, it's Carrie Lee here. Thank you so much for um, a great overview of the tools and the tips and how to get started on video. And I love the reactions and the comments from everybody um, as well. And everybody seems keen to start on video. So that's great. Um, one of the questions I see here is um, maximum amount of time for a video. So do you have any kind of just recommendations for a couple of different types of video? Yeah, absolutely. So that is a question that we get asked a lot and they, it really depends on your goal for your video strategy and even specifically which platforms you're posting it on. Right. So in the old days, the, ex the experts did lots of research on marketing video, how much time you have to capture someone's attention. And back in the day, the rule of thumb was nothing more than 60 seconds. Well, that has really changed because marketers are using education, educational video. And if you want to provide someone with education, often it needs to be longer than 60 seconds, right? And if you think about it as human beings, we certainly have capacity, mental capacity to much watch much longer videos. I mean, I love watching documentaries, which are educational movies, right? So you can watch a, something much longer. But the other factor that people need to look at now is what, what's your intent with your different platforms? So for example, I mean, I certainly know some people who it's not my thing, but their goal is to become a YouTube sensation, right? Like, if that's your thing, awesome. I love it. Um, if you are using YouTube as a way to grow an audience, then you actually want to be creating longer videos, much longer videos. So minimum of nine minutes for your videos, because that works with the YouTube algorithm to keep people on YouTube for longer. So 
that, that's something that you want to look at, even whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And Instagram has very specific figures that it allows the amount of time. And there's three different right. things that you can post your video on Instagram. And actually, we have um, we actually have an article on the Learn to Flourish website that gives like kind of a grid. Uh, and it shows you the length of videos that are allowed and the best uh, options. So it's lots of options. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a loaded question a little bit. Yeah, no, it, it's it's true. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very important. We do have a few outstanding questions, but we've run out of time. So just quickly. Um, want to wrap up here at the end, remind everybody of some of the upcoming events that we have have here at um, Women's Enterprise Center. So letters of intent and confidentiality on the 18th, the nuts and bolts of free trade agreements. So if you're exporting your product or service, um, and then our scaling for success webinar series, and we'll send links to all of those in the follow up email. Um, and thank you, Lorena, for sharing so much with us today and for your generous um, gifts and offers for everyone that has joined us. That's fantastic. Um, and we will share again, uh, hopefully, a few more answers to the questions and the resources that were mentioned as well. So thank you, Lorena. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And uh, go about the rest of your day. And happy it's Thursday today. Happy Thursday, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.